chew on this. As lawmakers chow down on Turkey, what if I told you they're playing chicken with your money? Because here we go again. The budget battle's coming down to the wire. The first deadline's only about two weeks away. Republicans want spending cuts. Democrats want tax hikes. So who's got it right? Fair and balanced to Crystal Wright and Ebony Williams. Ebony, to you first, please. Why raise taxes? Go. <laughs> well, Stu, to balance the budget, I think we all know that it's going to take two sides to this thing. Of course, there needs to be some taxes raised to counteract some uh, cuts that have already occurred to it, like, let's say, defense spending. That's the area. None of us want a weak Pentagon, right? So, yeah, absolutely. There's going to be, need to be a slight tax increase to counteract some cuts that have happened okay, in we'd 2013. Okay, we say slight tax increase. How much is a slight yes. tax increase? How much money are you going to take out in taxes? Go. Uh, oh, how much money am I going to raise taxes to? Yeah. I mean, okay. Senator um, Harry Reid is talking about a trillion dollars in tax increases over the next 10 years. You go with that? And that's, 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 uh, no, absolutely not, Stu. That's, that's unreasonable by any stretch of the imagination. I think that that's something Harry Reid's just throwing out there to, I, I hope he's saying that to give himself wiggle room for negotiations, because this thing is definitely going to come down to the wire. All right, Crystal, what about you? You want spending cuts. I put it to you that a lot of people hurting in America at the moment. If you cut spending, you hurt more people. What do you say? It, well, uh, first I want to say you left Ebony speechless for a minute there. She didn't even know how to respond, which sounds a lot like the Democrats, because if you're not talking about raising taxes on higher earners, they really don't know what to do. They have no argument beside raise taxes. Well, we've been down this path before, because earlier this year, remember, the president got $600 billion in tax increases on the higher earners, and the rest of the 99% that were under the Bush tax cuts, with the those remained in place. There's not going to be any more tax increases. We need to start getting serious about cutting spending. And one final note that Ebony might not have realized, because of the sequester, government spending has gone down two consecutive years in a row. This has not happened since President Truman. So sequestration is working, and Americans, okay. they're not hurting, the sky isn't falling. Ebony, would you consider yeah. tax cuts? I know you're a Democrat, I know you're talking about tax increases, but if you cut taxes, Presidents Kennedy, Reagan, and George W. Bush, when they cut tax rates, the economy expanded. You wouldn't want to do that again? <laughs> I wouldn't say I would be all out opposed to it, but I think a place where I would see cuts being more successful is some spending cuts, some reasonable spending cuts, or keeping some of our uh, non-discretionary spending flat, which is what equates to a cut because of inflation and, of course, population increases. So I'm not being unreasonable here at all in my suggestions. The only way to, uh, you know, keep the budget balance is not pursuant to Crystal's statement of just raising taxes over and over again. <laughs> absolutely, I don't believe that. There's got to be some cuts there as well in terms of some spending, because absolutely, there's some waste and fraud going on. You know, I think but, we've got almost agreement right here. Last word to you, Crystal. Well, but, but this just isn't true. Look, Stu, you, you know that Democrats, whenever we talk about ref making cuts to Medicare and Medicaid, which Paul Ryan wants, no. he's talking mm -hmm. to Patty Murray about it, they're like, no, 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 food stamps. Food stamps right now cost $80 billion this year, right? And the, the Democrats don't even want to cut, what, $5 billion? So it's like every time you want to cut something, Democrats say, no, we can't cut it. We've got to do some hard work here. We have $17 trillion in debt that's crushing this economy and stopping people from hiring. And Obamacare. Let's not All talk right. about that job killer. This <laughs> debate will heat up over the next two weeks. I am convinced of it. Ladies, thank you very much indeed. Got it. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you.